Hello there's YouTube and welcome back to the channel where we're building the city of Carborg. Happy to have you here for what is episode 20 of this Vanilla City Skylines build which to be completely fair is not 100% vanilla anymore, at least it's still 100% vanilla assets um, and we're not using any major mods, like the only mods that we're using at the moment are pretty much find it um, for some assets and also um, we're using the tree brush and, and stuff like that. But yeah, um, we're having a look right now from um, the transport hub in front of the stadium, uh, in front of which people seem to be gathering for another match of the Carborg Institute of Technology Eagles basketball team, who are on a winning streak. Four wins in a row. Let's look at, yeah, we just placed these assets last episode and they are also winning. Carborg Institute of Technology is on fire. Luckily, not literally, because uh, fires are, like, they seem to be a little bit more of a thing of the past. But yeah, let's um, go into what we're doing this episode. And the first thing that I want to do is something that we did in place uh, are, <laughs> and I totally forgot, uh, those assets. So like the police academy, which I decided to put here. Um, because I think, and let's, let's have a look at this. This is something that I learned from like watching Overcharge Deck is it really matters of like how things look when you drive into the city So for some reason I can't go like really ground level, but like driving past This building here. I think is something that makes a lot of sense having buses stop kind of like in front of it This is a good place for this building and then something else that we have to place is going back over here the School of Tourism and Travel. I think uh, what we can do is we can kind of like squeeze it in here, kind of next to the road. Uh, I kind of want to get it as close to it as possible. Right here. Um, and then obviously there's no connection, but we can easily do that by just drawing a university path uh, this way. So yeah, that should be no issue. I can't really put it here uh, let's take all of those guidelines off and uh, right here space already occupied I'm too close to the, the actual street but if I hook it in here this should be absolutely fine uh, let's create a little bit of a triangle here we can put I don't know maybe maybe I'll do that right now <coughs> I'm sorry Maybe I do that right now and not in um, in uh, landscape and put like a nice live oak up here. So people can just chill right under the oak. Awesome. Cool. Um, before we continue, let's talk a little bit about the story of Carborg. Because um, something that I wanted to do and... Uh, oh, there's even a bigger one. We have been waiting for quite some time until we get the next big fire. Um, but I think like stories and, and City Skyline, those live from like, um, like City Skyline's playthroughs, they live a little bit through like the story. Uh, the game is paused, let me guess. Academic year report. Yes, amazing. We own six academic works, this is nice. Um, and, and what I mean with this is like, if you looked at, I don't know, what City Planner Place does or Overcharge Jack, there's always a little bit of a story element to it, um, which I really like. Um, and like, for example, if you think about Verde Beach, um, which is Phil's series that I watch the most, or, you know, Overcharge Jack as well with like Palavan and, and Ilos and, and those cities. Um, which is kind of like a cool element and I wanted to do something like that similar over here. Um, and the idea that I have is pretty much the the idle city that I'm looking at is going to be Minneapolis and St. Paul in Minnesota. Um, because what is really cool over there is there's kind of like these two big cities that are forming one big capital. And this is pretty much what I want to do up here. I've been teasing and talking about the downtown. We're still not in the downtown episode to build a downtown area right on the shores of this lake. But I think, you know, this map warrants a second downtown right over here in this area. Um, so, well, uh, you know, getting close to, to the shore. Um, so yeah, um, or maybe even here, I 
carrying harbors and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I'm not 100% set on that yet, but I think this is the route that we're going to. And also, a, down, a proper downtown needs public transport access. Um, right now, we're doing a lot of cool stuff with Metro, but what we're still missing is train. And the train connection is sitting somewhere up here. So what I'm looking to do is uh, taking the train over this route and then over this route. And yeah, I, I just hope by the end of today's episode, I'm not going to make things more complicated as they already are. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase this tile first. Which might seem like a little bit of an odd choice, but uh, also gives, um, yeah, good... It gives the access to the rail line um, and I, I can do some stuff with parks over here like uh, what I'm thinking at the moment is doing a little bit of a uh, natural reserve uh, area uh, and including this little island here so why not cool so now that we have done this uh, let's pause the game quickly and have a look at our public transport which we want to take down so this is probably I'll, I'll just do this in a in a quick time lapse but like taking taking the the train somewhat down here um and i'm potentially just building a little i don't know can i build a little bit of a cross like right here hmm i'm not 100 sure yet how i want to do this uh i mean this is going into like nowhere but these train tracks could be used at some point. Uh, I think this is actually what I'm going to do. Uh, I think I like this. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll fiddle, in, and you will see this in a time lapse, um, a little bit with um, getting the train connection uh, over here. I mean, at some point I have to like take it over the river. I don't know exactly how I want to do that yet. I also want to take um, the metro on the other side of the river. Uh, I have a little bit more of an idea how I want to do that and I just take it underground and I take it up the ground again at some point over here um, or maybe not um, but yeah uh, I'll I'll don't start around it anymore I just get straight into it Okay, we have a bridge over the river, which is fine. We have um, a train line, which uh, for now, that doesn't look as I, you know, intended to look in the end. But um, I think we'll, we'll we'll see that we work a little bit with a little, with somewhat of an embankment over here later. And I've decided to, to take uh, the metro underground here. So yeah, um, something that I'm, I'm also looking to do today is expand a little bit on the Primrose district kind of like have a little bit more residential up here um, and then maybe crawl our way already towards um, what is going to be this uh, potential nature reserve park over here so we can build that in one of the next episodes because um, yeah like right now it's uh, looking at it what we'll definitely need is, is some some more residential expansion like we'll need more citizen we have 25,000 we need 32,000 for the next milestone which is unlocking the next tile, which is probably going to be this. And then, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of just expanding the city over and over. So now that we have that in, something that I wanted to hook in first was the metro line. Because um, we 
kind of like have this connection now here a little bit better so first what i'm going to do is i'm dragging this stop from the primrose district up over here and kind of like the m1 is going to be the line that is <coughs> i'm sorry looking to connecting those um those areas so that is done um also i think we need a we need a nice um we need a nice name for this underground metro station maybe if this on the other side is um cardal this might be i don't know uh carl holm no holm is holm is like island right um trying to like look into um let's call it um it's next to the to the one big uh or like one of the two big autobahn <laughs> which is a german word but highway so we call it the a2 uh industrial uh district for now so yeah this is going to be this station and the m1 is flowing over there uh what i also wanted to have a look at is how the m2 is kind of flowing and my main idea for that was pretty much just to have the m2 kind of like hook in here underground and then uh, the, M the m4 not the m2 and uh, them sharing uh, stations a little bit oh now that i see this i kind of like i'm thinking oh should i should i move this stop over here into this industrial district Yeah, I think that is what I'm going to do. Yes, I want to destroy this station. But people should not be happy too quickly. Um, There's actually like two stations very close to one another. Like somewhat close to one another. So... Let's take these two. Let's go into the curve road and connect them up. Uh, maybe it can go a little bit further. It's a little bit of a steeper curve, but it's fine. Actually, it's not that steep. Um, we've, we've honestly seen worse. And then probably it is time to put Well, actually, like, with where this line is flowing. Wait, which which is the the large underground metro station? Okay. We're, we're, we're doing things a little bit different. Apologies for that. But we have asset repetition over on this side anyway. So I'm putting a large underground metro station in there. Yes, I can. So we'll put this one over here on the corner. Um, I think this this is this now turned a little bit faster, more into a metro episode, which personally I don't mind. I hope you don't mind that either. Um, of just connecting the city more and more. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, we'll have to remove this and then take it. Oh, the slope is still too steep. Okay, 
now it should be fixed. So we'll hook this up in here. Nice. And then I kind of would like to have a second station up here. We'll do some eminent domain. Which of those? We can, we can have a look at what assets are here. If there is like some... Oh yeah, there's like some crazy repetition with like all of these jubilee things like right next to each other. So let's take a simple metro station and put this up here. Cool. And now we can hook this in. First, let's go one level up. Now we go back into the curve tool. Oh, it's a little bit too far. All right. Now it gets tricky because what we will need is the freeform tool up here. Kinda. It works. I am not too sad about. Cool. And <laughs> let's fix our lines now. So number one is we'll we'll take this. Can we add a stop up here? Or did I? I don't want to create a new line. I want to like drag the stop. Okay, let's see that I can drag the stop up until this way. No, I don't think it works. Cannot find path. Okay, I'll probably just have to delete the dm4 for now and just put a new line in so what i will do is i'll start here i'll we'll take it through the lake district which one is it it's this one down here and back towards the mall And before we're getting too confused, let's make this one yellow again. Like a nice bright yellow. And call it the M4. Obviously, like, those things are now also a little bit different. We just call it, uh, we just take the, the names out and just call it M1, M2, M3, M4. Alright, so. Let's press start this should all be fine and we should have our first yellow metro train coming here very very shortly over ground and connecting big parts of the city with each other i think like for the for the main things i'll actually leave it at that of, of like what we're doing and the rest of this episode will just be like a little bit more of expansion um before we go into like more other things in the next episodes like i actually like one thing that i can have a look at is farming um is there what are the new things that we have here we now have the middle king parlor that is new right because we had the flour mill and the cattle shed yeah i think having a milking parlor Somewhere here should be fine. But I kind of like want to rearrange that. Now that this lane, we're not going to have it anymore. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Also, is this train still stopping here? I 
I don't think it is. I don't think the M1 was stopping here still. Now it is. And it should be continuing down the road now. Okay, I only kind of like want to have at max one or two stations where there's two train lines um, connecting. And I hope like they don't really hold up all of the traffic. I mean, we kind of like have that case already that they're somewhat holding up the traffic. It looks fine now. Let's uh, let's keep an eye open. So it's not getting too bad. Um, but yeah, overall, kind of like that. Oh, wait, wait. something is still wrong with like dead people not being picked up. I mean, we have a crematorium here. There's even a bus line in front of the crematorium. Anyway, okay, I'll n probably now go into building mode and uh, just add a few. Also, actually, something that I wanted to have a look of just like how it looks like. Because we have water connected already up here. But I wanted to go um, with a little bit of a. I mean, it's still like somewhat upper hockla, but I kind of like want to try something. And I kind of like want to try it in this block. So just adding a little new district in there. For now, I'm fine with this being named Sycamore Hills. But I kind of want to give the residential specialization of this being wall-to-wall -wall buildings. Or residential wall-to-wall. -wall. And then just paint it all in. And then have a look what that is going to... And then see what that is going to look like. Ah, we can already select the variations. I actually think this is kind of cool and like this really works nicely. Are they all just looking the same? No, they're not. But I think this fits in quite well like next to the the high residential green cities and let's see how big this gets once they level up how are we looking here in terms of elementary i mean that should also be fine high school is good university is somewhat meh but that is just because of the connection and this is just one more thing that i want to do before i go into the building mode is a i need to decide that something over here is going to be somewhat of a collector which is probably going to be what is brown street that is leading up more into the downtown and we have a collector up here and a collector down there going into into this like later higher residential area so let's upgrade this road they're maybe not too happy about it but unfortunately sometimes this is how it is and uh let's uh, look into our metro line into our metro network once again i kind of like the idea of having it oriented this way and then just going down like next to the waterfront like the m1 I kind of like that idea. I kind of think it would be good to like have something up here, but I kind of kind of want to go with this. So let me put this right up here. Oh, slope is too steep. 
the other way it works. Well, actually, I'd rather set, set, put it like to this area and delete this one again. Or maybe have something like a, a bigger one again over here. I think the bigger one fits well over here and then we have somewhat of more connectivity. I love metro lines in <laughs> in case you haven't noticed that yet. Um, so yeah, I think this is kind of cool. And even though this is, this is somewhat close again. Um, I think it's warranted because you don't have to cross the highway now with this connection. like two very close lines and then we can put another line uh, up here uh, and have this like run to the waterfront and this like more the M1 like more into the middle nice okay let's uh, connect those lines then we're gonna detail things up a little bit and then I think we're gonna be ready finishing up the episode I think also like I could extend the, the network here Because I think like this is where the, where the M2 is going to go. Like parallel to that big street. Let me... <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, it's terrible, you know? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna finish things up now. And then, I'm, and then I'm continuing to build stuff. Glass box transport up. Oh. Look at this one. This is a nice one. This is a nice one. Um... I kind of like want to have a look. I mean, at some point I'm going to build those sunken platform metro stations. Um, but I think for now, we're just going to have a look at another, one, another elevated metro station with shops. Kind of up here. I think this is fine. I maybe have to move this over. Because let's try the following. Can I hook my streets through here? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Amazing. Um, and then, yeah, taking the metro this way. And I think this is. Ah, oh, but this looks terrible. I mean, although, if there's like, I think there's going to be office buildings or more parking spots going to be next to this aquatic center and this is going to be like a little bit of a green belt. Yeah, actually, I think this is, this is how we're doing it. We're, we're putting office space in here. And then we'll send the metro first across the street quickly and then freeform things so they flow nicely through here hook this in and now this is done. And then we'll, we'll put water. Through here. And it should be fine for now. Water availability. We have to think about that soon. Where are we at in terms of electricity? We are still fine. And then we'll take the tree brush. And I'll just throw these things right in between here. Then no one sees this mess. 
but I kind of like this. Oh, no, I don't. I absolutely don't. Oof. Oh, God. This is terrible. What happened here? No, I, I don't like this. Okay, we'll we'll delete this. And I'll I'll take up the land a little bit. We'll we'll level this up. Like just a little bit. And let's try if this is already fixing the issue. don't think it is let's see I mean if I put it like this it's, it's not too harsh but yeah I'm still not a fan how does it look now somewhat okay somewhat okay okay um and then of course you know we go into our lines and we drag this line over here and at the stops back in for the m2 to continue up this way for some reason now this train didn't stop but okay all right now this is a good time to go into the detailing time lapse because um, i've been doing this for way too long one final disclaimer um a lot of the episodes that you are going to see now will be pre-recorded as i have to travel due to work um so yeah a few things will be pre-recorded but i'm hoping to be somewhat like close to uh, doing it as much live as possible um, in near future again.
Alrighty, enough detailing. Uh, I think this is already like a much longer episode than it actually should be and there's not too much content. So yeah, uh, I also extended uh, the district, the Primrose district up here. And, uh, wait, did I not do this? Oh, yeah, it should be um, coming in like these European suburbia uh, things over here. And yeah, I think like the fact that the M4 is currently stopping here, this is kind of an issue. Um, Cause it's blocking the traffic up here like quite often. So I'll have to look at how to fix that probably in one of the next few episodes. But yeah, once like right now that we're crawling up, let's have a quick look at um, everything up over here. How is this looking? Are these buildings slowly but surely leveling up? They are saying like, we have to educate more citizens. Uh, but there should be, is, there, is a, there is an elementary school like here, close, right? Like over here. Or is this too far away for these people? Might be too far away. And maybe I just have to put in like another elementary school. But yeah, I think this will solve over time. Uh, let's see. Otherwise, yeah, I think it's, it's justified to put another elementary school up over here. I can do that in the next episode. But yeah, that is uh, pretty much it for now. Um, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode, even though it's been a little bit different of what it usually is. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, if you like this content and if you enjoyed this episode, I would very much appreciate if you would press the subscribe button down below, subscribe to the channel and press the like button. Um, I will see you in the next one, which, as already mentioned, is going to be a pre-recorded episode. But yeah, until then, hope you're having a good one and see you next time. Cheerio.